Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Friday. The sun is out. It stopped raining. Oh. Okay, let's do some updates on what's been going on while it's been rainy and winter. It beats, well, it could beat a foot of snow. It depends on your situation and environment and all that good stuff. I can't complain too much. Still too muddy to do anything today, but I can uh, give some updates. Right, Bob? Yeah, Bob hasn't been enjoying the rain. You been enjoying the rain, Bob? No, I don't think so. One of the things I've done is get two of my fishing poles uh, all ready to go. They're uh, rigged up for crappie. And something I haven't talked about, let's talk about that. Yeah, there was one day a week or so ago I was coming back from town and uh, saw my neighbor uh, vehicle fishing so I stopped and uh, he showed me some some good spots where he catches all of his crappie so uh, I'll be getting out there soon it's supposed to be in the 60s for the next like three or four days although there could be more rain on Monday they're saying I don't know about all this but I might have to uh, I might have to get my finally give it a try of fishing one of the things that's been putting me off is i don't have i don't have a kitchen or you know counter space or and cooking fish in my room is just not the best idea oh so that's one of the things that's been putting me off um definitely once i've got my kitchen going then uh, it'll be easier for me to clean the fish and and all that stuff so uh, if I, yeah, well, if I go fishing, I want to, I want to bring home food. That's the whole point. What do we got going on here? You think you're king of the world or something up there, buddy? Yeah. He is a pretty rooster standing up there. Coming up on six months old. What's up, Bob? You want to go fishing with me? No, nah, you don't want to go fishing. I bet you'd eat the leftovers. A very sad bit of news with the Whiting True Blues. Um, three of them got out of that area. And I that islet right there, I had a string tied to it and it broke. And so, well, and I just tried to lift it up, but I tried to recreate what I came out to, how they got out of there, is uh, I had a string tied to it and it broke because of the weight of the water from the rain on the tarp, and I think it created an opening for three of them to get out. Uh, sadly, two of them did not survive and a third one is injured and I have it separated inside. So, yeah, that was uh, kind of a, you know, some, sometimes you have bummers of a week, and that, that was a real bummer of a day. So, uh, yeah, lost two Whiting True Blues, um, and I've got another one that's injured. It seems to be doing okay. Let's go take a look at that real quick. That's a little olivega. That's an olivega rooster. And you're a well summer hen. Okay, this one was injured and did survive, and it's eating right now, so that's a very good sign. It's got um, the other, I think the, I didn't see it happen. I didn't see it happen. I discovered it afterwards. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think they got attacked by the other, which of the other, I don't know, there are 20 other chickens in that run area. And so I think they just got attacked by the other chickens and being their first time out and it was probably raining at the time and uh, yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know if this, I think this one's a female. It's a, a white and true blue. And uh, let's take a look at what I've been using. Okay, so this stuff I have on hand. This I had on hand, um, uh, Hen Healer. It was uh, marked down like half price. So I have some of this. When I had uh, baby chicks, the ones that I hatch, they would uh, peck at each other. They're bird brains. Um, and then this I picked up a while ago. It's a poultry wound spray. And so, um, and I also, well, as soon as I, um, as soon as I saw her, the two of them, they were all right around the brooder. They couldn't get back in. And so they uh, probably panicked and they had nowhere else to go. And so they probably got uh, cornered and trapped. Um, and that's where, the one that's alive. That's, it was right next to the brooder trying to get back in. Um, I don't know how long they had been out. It might have been hours uh, because it was raining. I wasn't going in and out all the time. Uh, uh, yeah, I could have done stuff better to prevent that from happening. But I was ready with, uh, first I washed, um, washed the wound as best I could and, um, and uh, dried that chick off. Uh, as best I could. There's a heat lamp. It, that's a cage that out in the country brought to me. That thing has been so incredibly useful. Um, um, yeah, I've got a heat lamp in there so that would help. Uh, uh, being wet, you don't want them to get too cold and uh, the rest of the mobile home isn't heated. So, yeah, wash it off. Um, I put some of this on it uh, first because this I had to go <laughs> figure out <laughs> where it was and dig it out uh, but the hen healer multi-purpose ointment there's no egg withdrawal required and this is also natural all natural it's mainly tea tree oil and so it's what I got I'm giving it a shot and um, that one is walking around it's eating drinking so I think uh, I think it's gonna survive at least it looks good right now you never know with infections that could come later but hopefully I'm I'm on top of the inspections and it's right next to the sink so I've also um, well the first day I washed it off probably uh, twice and then the next morning I did it uh, again uh, you know just to keep it clean and uh, uh, so it hopefully doesn't get infected okay enough for that segment okay grumpy I'm gonna give you a pass since you're new around here and it's winter but this spring I better see you outside climbing trees and stuff deal do we got a deal shut up dude I'm sleeping Good afternoon, Tater Mountain. It's good to see you in 2019. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's probably going to take a few days of sunny, non-rain weather. Um, so, yep, it is what it is. No idea yet on a cabin delivery date. I'm just uh, playing with the weather. No use uh, making things harder on myself. We'll just wait until it dries out. So that'll be coming. Well, hopefully it'll stay dry here for the next three or four days. We might get some rain Monday, but then that would mean, you know, middle of next week uh, before I can uh, start advancing on the, on the gravel and plastic here for the foundation. What do you think you're doing, Bob? You don't climb my leg very often. All right, ow, ow, I'll give you scratches. As far as tree cutting, this tree right here still needs to go. Yeah, it's uh, that's a sweet gum, and it's uh, hanging right over the, my electric line. You can see the power coming in there. And it's uh, not in good shape. It's not a healthy tree. So that one's going, and then also, well, I've got all this mess of of uh, <laughs> everything down here. He's going to keep some of this for firewood, and anyway, it's just too wet down there to uh, work on that. And this doesn't have to be done because it's not in the way of the cabin coming in, so this, all this stuff can wait. 
but what he doesn't take for firewood then I want to start getting in there and uh, cleaning this up uh, and trying to create my hoogle hoogle swale mound thingy majiggers all right, that's going to be it for this uh, Friday. Oh, the temperature is probably like, Bob, don't shake the camera, dude. Uh, that's going to be it for this uh, Friday. If the camera jiggles this time, it's Bob's fault. He's on the table. Uh, you've been bugging me. You, Yeah, it's been raining for a few days. Uh, we're all getting a little bit antsy, I think. Uh, just some updates today I did I've been taking care of the chick uh, you know cook dishes cook dishes <laughs> nap I didn't nap today though uh, let's see I want to give some shout outs let's do the first one I want to do Jody Farms uh, they put out a video recently and it reminded me of their uh, the quality of their videos very very good uh, doesn't, you know, uh, do videos every day or try to, any of that stuff, but the, the quality of their videos is great, and so it makes me want to go back and watch their previous ones. So Jody Farms, uh, uh, just, um, yeah, definitely worth a look. Another one is, oh, where's Jody Farms at? I don't, are, they're up in Canada somewhere. Yeah, up in uh and i know they montreal so in that vicinity not in montreal itself but in that vicinity next one hey it's a good life i like the name of that channel it is a good life uh out in california they are uh doing what they can with what they have hey it's a good life i'll put a link and i'll put links down below uh but out in california and just got a worm bin so, uh, not a big yard, but they're uh, gardening with the space, and now that worm bin was pretty cool. It's something that you can keep in the uh, inside, and it doesn't look that bad. And uh, so, yeah, now they're worm farmers. And let's see, the next one I'll do uh, Sunshine Farms. They're a newer, newer channel getting started up in New York. I think the Rochester vicinity, if I'm not uh, mistaken. But they've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, horses and homesteading and, and uh, yeah, so another young uh, couple and uh, getting started on homesteading. And so cool. Yeah, check out those channels. And I will, I have no idea. I'm going to try to, I got to get back into the swing of the, you know, the everyday uh, vlogging. Uh, I got so many projects, so many, I can't keep up with everything. I just, there's so, I can't keep up with everything right now. It's just, um, unreal. Uh, speaking of not keeping up with everything, uh, coming up, uh, videos, uh, I got a bunch of boxes and stuff, and some of that stuff probably came right before Christmas, and I didn't make, I'm trying to, I was trying to think what the last time I went before that time, so I got an, uh, another mail call video coming up. I also am uh, was tagged in a collaboration video. Eric from The More You Grow tagged me, so I'll be doing a video for that one. Uh, skills. Yeah, I need skills. I need lots and lots of skills. And what else is coming up? And I'll try to keep vlogging, and woohoo! 2019 is going to be exciting. So, thanks for watching, and take her easy, everybody.